You gotta check out this bot that will take a mid-journey photo and swap your face into it. The project is called Inside Face. It's open source, free to use, and best of all, has a Discord bot, making it super easy to put your face on a mid-journey character. My name is Ben. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Inside Face on your Discord server, how to load your face into the system, and then how to swap your face with a photo I'll create in mid-journey. And stick around to the end, because I'll show you something a bit creepy with this AI bot. Okay, let's go. The first step is to install the Insight Face bot onto your private Discord server. And this should be the same private Discord server you use for mid-journey. In the description of this video, I'll put a link to this page. Log in with a user that has managed server permissions. It's usually the user who created the server to begin with. And then just select the server from the dropdown here. It'll show you the permissions you have to grant to this bot and then just say authorize. And now we see the Insight Face Swap bot becomes online. If you do a forward slash, you'll start seeing all the Insight Face Swap commands now listed, which means the bot's installed correctly. Now the first thing you want to do is load our picture into the system so it can use that to swap faces with. And we do that with a command called save ID. And that takes in two parameters. The first is the ID name, so you can just give that a unique name. So I'll call mine Ben. And the second is an image, and this should be a portrait of yourself. So I started with this portrait, which was actually taken by a professional photographer when I was doing some family pictures. The really important thing is that your face is well lit and you're looking right at the camera. So you can see all the contours of your face. I then use Canva Pro version to remove the background. Maybe not required, but I think it gives better results because it gives a more clean image to the AI to analyze. Another thing it says in the documentation is don't, don't have glasses on and don't have large bangs in front of your forehead. Okay, so now that I have that nice clean portrait, you just drag it in as the other parameter to the save ID. It just takes a couple of seconds and the portrait's loaded in the system. So we're all ready to go now. So let's start by using, running some Imagine commands to get some really good images to swap with. I'm using version 5.1 of Midjourney, which is the latest as of right now. And let's do an Imagine command with a prompt of high detail photo of chief executive officer in fancy boardroom looking at the camera. And these are the four Midjourney gave me back. And I'm gonna choose number three to upscale. So the dude looks a little bit burnt out, but let's go with it. I like the background with the executive boardroom. So now to swap your face with this face, all I have to do is click on the three dots here on the message of the upscaled image, go to apps, and go to in swapper. And there it is, it only takes a few seconds and it swaps the face out. I kind of like this one actually. I think I like my version better than the original. <laughs> this guy means business. Let's just try a couple more. Say I wanted to open a restaurant and I wanted a picture of myself as a chef. So let's try executive chef portrait photo. And then it brought back this chef. It looks like kind of like a Hell's Kitchen audition or something. It looks really good. So when I did the face swap, I came back with this. I really like this one. It looks a lot more like me than the first one. Well, maybe a few years ago, but still. So one thing I've noticed is the age of the person in the original picture is reflected in the new picture. So you can also use this thing to kind of, you know, make a younger version of yourself or an older version of yourself. It's pretty cool. This one gave me a creepy result. So I started with an imagine command of create a personal and intimate portrait of a woman and man sitting on a wooden bench in a park on a sunny day. And I thought what I would do is change the face of the man to my picture and then leave the woman. And while it's loading, if you're into AI and you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. So here's a nice couple portrait midjourney returned. But when I did the face swap, it actually swapped both the faces of the woman and the man. So that was a bit creepy. I wouldn't, put, I wouldn't use this one as a stock photo, that's for sure. But definitely check out Inside Face. I've been looking for a free tool like this for a long time. And if you're into mid-journey, check out this playlist next. It's full of my tips and tricks videos. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you in the next one.